what should I do? Think. Think. Ooh. I woke up an hour later in a daze. But still I thought nothing. Oh, my head. I looked high. I looked low. I looked near and far. Asking myself what I should do now. It's still going. It's been still going since the last review I made. Unbelievable. As I'm watching the last snowfall of the winter season, spring is on its way, and I'm ready for it. And oh boy, what's it gonna be for springtime? Warm? Cold? So and so. I'm not sure. One thing is for sure, my next review could be all of that, depending on which temperature my mood is going to be. entered spring. Ain't that something? With the snow falling down on the ground, it's kind of hard for me to choose which review I should talk about. I got lots of ideas in mind. Hmm. But what should I go for? Should I talk about the software series Living Books? That's in my mind. Maybe I should talk about the new, the new rating system that I saw in certain movies. Nah, maybe not. Maybe I should talk about pe people. I haven't spoken about people yet. People like Darcy Lynn. America's Got Talent winner for 2017. Or maybe Rick Baker, the seven-time Oscar-winning makeup artist. He hasn't been spoken about yet. No, wait. Better yet. I'll talk about the brand new movie that just came out. And I just saw recently. What movie do you ask? <laughs> well, I'll tell you with a simple saying. It's -a me, Mario! I'm a Luigi, number one. That's what I'm gonna talk about. I'm honestly not surprised that they actually made this movie. Almost about 40 years later? Yeah, they finally get to make an animated feature film. 
because the merchandising for this game is freaking huge! The Mario Brothers were everywhere, not just in video games, but candies, well, and toys, plushes, action figures. Hell, they even had them in fast food restaurants for a while, and I still had those when I was a kid. And I gotta be honest, I still have a handful of Super Mario stuff even to this day. Video games including. But now, let's see. How big of a hype was this movie when the trailers came out? Chris Pratt, Jack Black, Seth Rogen? Kinda iffy at first. The latter two played it off surprisingly well. Chris Pratt? Eh, uh, yeah, you could find a better casting choice for him. There were even TV shows featuring the Super Mario Brothers, made by Dick Entertainment. <laughs> yeah, that's some real dick humor right there. <laughs> oh, come on, you can do better than that. Ugh. When's the last time you sprayed down this couch? I smell shit. <laughs> Not that kind of spray, wise guy. Defective spray. You know the clears away bad smells? Sorry. Because Captain Lou Albino, I think that's his name, a wrestler who was Moyo. He sure played a mean Moyo on that show. Bob Hoskins? Well, not my choice of Mario in the Super Mario Brothers live-action movie, which is mixed review by a lot of fans, including me. Not a very good movie, but hopefully this one paid it off. Because I'm gonna go see the Super Mario Brothers movie. I'm gonna see it with a friend of mine. Now, um, I gotta get ready before he arrives, so, uh, I'll uh, see you all later and, and I'll tell you about the result of the movie, okay? See you till then! So what's my verdict for this movie? Well, after I just got back from it, and uh, pretty much saw the whole thing from beginning to end, I gotta be honest, What just came in the mail today as I'm recording this. <laughs> today is April 12th, I think. And Amazon delivered a package that looks like a Mario block in celebration of this movie. I got this open up, but I didn't see what's inside. So let's see. Hey! Alright! Coffee crisps! It's those candy bars from Canada. I ordered them to give them a try. I'll try them out later on in this review. I guarantee it's gonna be great. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did ya? I didn't expect this movie to be... Well, surprisingly. Just surprisingly. And no more. Not so much research I found on the di <coughs> the dinosaurs in Moyo. I don't know, does Yoshi count as a dinosaur? And are the Yoshi dinosaurs? I don't know what to make of it. Okay, it's a dinosaur-like creature. So, I guess I kind of count. Hey Rex, did you hear that? Yes, I heard. 
No relation. With so many different famous online celebrities I know talking about this movie as well, I think I should jump aboard the bandwagon and talk about this myself. Because, yeah, I got my own opinions too. The last time I seen the movie on the big screen, it was about 2019. The last film I saw was The Lion King. Yeah, that live action remake. A total piece of crap. And despite critical mixed opinions about this movie, I went into film blindly. And the result? Well, I'll tell you when I tried this. Oh, this is a coffee crisp from Canada. I told you I was going to try it out later. And I'm going to do it right now. Oh yeah. Definitely taste the coffee. So it looks like it's kind of a wafer with cocoa and maybe a hint of peanut butter, but I can't tell for sure. Very crunchy. Don't know why we don't have these in America. That's not bad actually and this film I think it's pretty much the same not bad not good but not bad at least based on what I heard based on what I've heard at least from some people you want to know my real opinion about this movie okay Here's my real opinion about this movie, from my point of view. And this is just my honest to God opinion, folks. You have your opinions, I have mine. And I don't like it when people step on them. Here's what I think of the Super Mario Brothers movie. Okay. I went in the movie blind. And surprised enough, I'm already enjoying this. They paid good homage to the game. What even caught my surprise the most? They paid homage to the TV show too. It's mostly for the plumbing commercial. Chris Pratt, even though he did a weird job in the trailers, he pulled it off well in the movie. Jack Black, awesome as Bowser. He even called out the song Peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. I will admit, the Frozen Flower reference for Peach in that sequence, I can tell it's a homage to Frozen, which makes sense because the movie I'll beat Frozen to the box office. <laughs> nice touch. Nice touch. <laughs> nice I just made <clears throat> Anyway, I went to the film with my friend, like I said, and he was laughing nonstop. He knew the references too. Every character appeared in that game. The Yoshis, Big Boo, King Bomb, Ba'am or Mamba, Obama. <laughs> well, King, the Bomb King is there, I'll, I'll say that. That wizard guy was there. The Koopas. One of the Koopas was played by Scott Menville, Robin from Teen Titans Go. I actually pictured that Koopa as Robin getting his comeuppance. Finally, something good happening to that guy. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is, everything was great. The homages, the callbacks, magnificent. Pure magnificent. They, the, the writing could use a little more work, I will admit. But nonetheless, they pulled it off fine. It's just amazing to know that. And that fight art up there, that's mine. I drew it myself when I was a little kid. Mario, Luigi, baby Luigi's up there too, and even Yoshi. Can't believe didn't bring it up until now. Donkey Kong! Ha <laughs> ha! DK! Donkey Kong! <laughs> Happy to make that reference. And Diddy, and Dixie, and Chunky even appeared. And Cranky Kong as the king? I was not expecting that. 
I know he was a professor in uh, N64 and just a museum caretaker in, in one of the three games of Super Nintendo. But as a king? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Toad can be kind of annoying at times, but I don't know. He didn't bother me. Although he did get a good laugh when, he, when we caught him playing the uh, pipe. Do -do 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 -do. Speaking of that score, the, there are so many different game scores that went throughout that movie. Each one of them I actually recognized. I recognized the uh, Bowser appearing. Boom, boom, do -do -do. So many different themes all throughout the movie. I'm so glad they paid homage to them. I am so blessed. <laughs> So yeah. Oh, and you know what's even more amazing? The voice of Mario himself was in this movie. He had a few parts here and there. I could even recognize one of these hoo-hoos that he did. So yeah, this movie's wonderful. I'll give it a I'll give it a go. Everything is completely stable. The kids loved it, grown ups love it, critics mixed about it, but still. It is great. It's wonderful. Absolutely a blast. And there's something else I predicted while in the movie. I told my friend, chances are the audience are probably going to applaud at the end of this movie. And sure enough, when the end came, called it! I called it big time. Everybody applauded. They loved it. Hurrah! Hurrah! That was great. The directors, however, was a shock to me. And believe me, my first reaction to this was pretty much well watch. So the writers of this movie is Matt Fogel. Yeah, who is he? Oh, he's the writer of that movie. Neat. And the directors for this movie are Aaron Horvath and Michael Jelanek? Are those two the guys that did... It's the same two guys that did Teen Titans Go? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is gonna bomb! Big time! And guess what? The film didn't actually bomb. It turned out to be a huge hit than I thought. Surpassing Frozen 2 at the box office on opening weekend. Frozen 2 of all movies. Everything is just the right amount. The references from different video games, the callbacks of some characters. Oh my, they did their homework well. If there's anything I had to nitpick about this film though is that there's way too many slow-mo shots. There's like a whole bunch of them in there. Like 10, 11? I mean, my God, it's funny though, but it's not funny enough for me anymore. Tone it back a little bit. Slow mos are not even that funny anymore. Them and the occasional fart gag. But honestly, if that's my only nitpick, I have very little to complain about this movie. I don't know why critics hate this movie so much. The kids seem to love it. Fans of the games love it. Yeah, lots of fans, even me. And you know what? I honestly don't know what else to say about it, actually. Just, it's a feel-good movie. I don't remember having a huge grin on my face from any film. Or even laughter. Illumination, you did your homework right. I thank you. And I thank the men of Nintendo, too. Tomo arigato. So that's my thoughts on the movie. <laughs> he fell on Luigi! <laughs> oh. In the meantime, though, what are your thoughts on the movie? Is it good? Is it bad? Are you still iffy about Chris Pratt being Mario? Well, that's totally up to you. Everybody's got their own reviews about this movie right now. They have their opinions, just as I, just as I have mine. There. Well, I hope you enjoyed the movie. I know I did. I had lots of fun with it. Thank you, Illumination Animation. You finally made a movie that's worth my hype. 
I'm Big Bad Ben. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening. Now I think it's time for me to take a long break from the reviews. Don't know what I'm going to do next, but... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. But, we'll see what happens then. Goodbye, everyone.